Hi everyone, it's Terry from My Ketogenic Family again. Today I'm gonna to show you how I do my pork belly. So usually you can get your pork belly from either HEB or Walmart. This one I picked up at Walmart. Um, it comes in slices already. I used to cook it um, just in the little meat chunks like it comes, but I've discovered that I prefer to cut them lengthwise. So once I've cut all the meat up into half strips like this, I'll arrange it on my air fryer tray. I just recently read about someone who lines their air fryer tray with parchment paper. And I'm, I've tried it once, this is gonna be my second time. So I'm gonna try that and see if it's a little bit easier to clean that way. Um, What I'm using on this is Redmond's Real Salt Organic Season Salt. It is one of my favorites. I like the other seasonings, but this one is very fine and it doesn't leave giant chunks that tend to burn in the oven. So I season both sides and then I arrange them on the tray. Um, we'll stick them in the air fryer in just a few minutes. So once they're all arranged on the air fryer tray, then I add a little bit of extra sea salt and pepper, and then I put them in the air fryer. I've set it um, at 400 for 15 minutes, and I'll start it like that, and then once the 15 minutes are up, I will flip them, and depending on how cooked they are, I'll either do them another 15 minutes or I'll uh, broil them for a few more minutes. So when the 15 minutes are up, I will pull them out and I'll flip them over just because I want them to be extra crispy. So they're already seasoned. Um, I'll just give them all a flip. So once they're all flipped, then I'll just, um, ooh, that's hot. Put them back in and let them cook up, probably for another um, 15 minutes or so because I like them extra crispy. Uh, I finally figured this thing out and I don't burn them anymore, so we'll see how they turn out. Okay, so there's about four minutes left on the timer, but I can smell them. So I think they're about ready. They look nice and crispy and they sound beautiful. So I think I don't like the parchment because it keeps a lot of the moisture on there. But I don't know, we'll see. I'm just gonna move these to cool for a few minutes and then I will show you what they look like completely done. And there you have it, a full plate of crispy pork belly. Some of you might like it a little crispier. You could leave it in for a few minutes longer or bump it up to 450. This, if you're using the, a regular oven, this is where you would use the broil feature, but this is how I do my pork belly and how I like to eat it. I can probably finish this plate here. So hope you liked the video. Let me know how it turned out. Let me know what else you're interested in watching, and I uh, hope to see you soon. Thanks.